Hey guys, what's up all? Welcome back to Web News channel. This is Hakan here again. So today we are going to talk about some of the most frequently asked questions on my name is Calendar. And these questions have been asked by previous users in the, in the past couple of years. So these are highly recommended videos to be watched. So let's get started with the first question. Well, one of the most frequently asked questions in the past couple of years is the issue with the register button not displayed on a single event page. So let's see how we can resolve that. As you can see, and as I'm scrolling, say that there is no register button on the single event page. So let's fix the issue. To do that, we have got to go back to a WordPress dashboard and check a couple of options to make sure that the register button will be displayed on a single event page. First, let's just head to the appearance section and to the widget section. So here you can see that I'm actually using the Gutenberg Bula and you can see that there is no widgets here, there's no blocks here. So I'm gonna add one. I'm just gonna click here and type max single sidebar items here. You can see this widget here, just click on it and add it to the screen. Now you can see a couple of check boxes here and you can just uh, check the box for those options that you need to be enabled on the single event page. For example, event cost, more info, even label and any other options that you will require so the most important one here is the register button option that i'm going to check the box for it make sure to click on the update button so that uh, we can surely see the register button on our single event page but if this is the only issue that we're facing for now now another adjustment that we have to make or another setting that we have to check is uh, the settings in my name's calendar itself click on settings when it opens from the left sidebar, click on Booking menu to make sure that it is enabled. Now simply enable Booking model, click on Save Changes and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, you can see that there are some new options related to the booking options and payment methods are added under the Booking menu here. Before we leave this Booking menu here in the settings, um, you have got to change another option called interval options. Show booking form interval. If this is set to a, uh, for example, minimum number or a small number like five or 10, it means that the register button will only be displayed 10 minutes before the event starts. So if you set your event to 25th of April, um, then the register button will not be displayed, for example, unless it is 25th of April and 10 minutes before it even starts. So just make sure that there is no numbers here or it is not set or probably it is set to a number greater than for example a um, small number like 5 or 10 so that you can see the register button uh, a long time before the even starts. The next one that is very important as well is the payment gateway. One of these options that you can see here, Pay Locally, PayPal Express or anything else, one of these options must be checked because otherwise nothing will be displayed on your single event page. And always remember to click on the Save Changes button and refresh the page. Last but not least is the event itself. Go to All Events here and click on your event or click on the Edit button under the event. Go to your Edit Event page and make sure that you have added or created a ticket for your event because if you have not created a ticket then it, there's nothing there to be sold so the register button will not be displayed on a single event page so that's simple so here i go to the booking section and the ticket uh, menu i could say or ticket option and you can see that there is no tickets here i'm going to add a ticket here now i'm going to update my event and publish it then view the event so as you can see that there is a register button at the right side of the page and at the bottom of the page you can see the form for purchasing the event or the ticket i could say this is the ticket that i created earlier so i think that's it very easy some options that you have to check before uh, making your event live Thank you very much for staying with me. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and also don't forget to comment, me, uh, comment down below if, if you have any ideas or reviews on this video. Also ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thanks for staying. See you in the next video.